Well, he's gone from internet upstart to pop prince to tabloid fodder. Now it appears Justin Bieber is reinventing himself yet again. The screaming tweens are still around, but some grown-up music critics are paying attention too. And tonight he's getting back to basics for a good cause. Eli Glasner has that story. A different kind of venue for a different kind of Justin Bieber. An intimate acoustic concert in downtown Toronto. It's a new attitude from Bieber, who on his new album admits his behavior hasn't been the best. I could feel people's energy, and I also wasn't didn't really care either. Like, it, I could give two if someone liked me or not. What'd you say? Oh, oh, beat the out of you. And that's where things went bad. The slice of honesty comes courtesy of a music video from Purpose, the album which debuted at number one and earned Bieber his first number one single. So how did Biebs get back on top? Well, I think he got his groove back by signing up with two killer dan you know, EDM producers in Skrillex and Diplo. That song was a major summer hit. Uh, and he followed it up with an album that has a very similar vibe to it. And people actually that I know are really digging the new sounds. What do you a new soulful sound on an album of danceable earworms Bieber co-wrote. And while the new album is reminding people of Justin Bieber, the musician, the fans who camped out here overnight have been believers all along. I would love a kiss from Justin Bieber. <laughs> Even with millions of followers, for the fans here, it's personal. You just have this, you feel this emotional connection towards him, and just to see how far he's come, it's just amazing. Like, watching, like, he came from nothing. Don't forget that I'm human. And tonight's concert is a return to Bieber's roots, the proceeds going to Stratford House of Blessing, a food bank and support centre his mother used when he was young. These girls slept on the sidewalk with only their Bieber pillows to cuddle to be near the front of the line. He's, he's, he's sweet, and, like, he loves his fans so much. Sure, there have been bumps during the comeback, like walking out on fans in Norway after trying to wipe water off the stage. Guys, never mind, I'm, I'm done, I'm not doing the show. Or scolding fans for clapping off beat. At least clap on the right notes, come on guys, stop, stop, stop. For longtime fans, Bieber's growing pains are their own. I mean, like, everybody makes mistakes. Right. And he's just like, he's in the spotlight, you know, and other teenagers could be doing the exact same thing, but they're not famous. No one's seeing them do it. Ask you to forgive me for my sins. Tonight, 1,500 fans watched Bieber in the spotlight again, this time on his own terms. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.